How you doing? Welcome back to Winders Ranger. I'm Rick. Wanted to share just a quick tip on how I take care of my uh, RV tires. They get a little bit of longer life out of them. Uh, there's two major things that you can do to take care of your tires and to extend the life. One is to get them up off the ground. Um, hopefully it shows up on camera. I've got a uh, it's probably a 2x8, two 2x10 by, two by two by that's underneath all three wheels on this side and I've got another one on the other side. Uh, there's a slope to the ground so I've got the other side stacked up a bit to try to level the trailer out at least somewhat while it's here in storage. Um, but to get the tires off the ground that's first and foremost. Um, I wish I could tell you more about how that degrades the tire. I, I guess it, uh, it helps speed up the dry rot process. It draws uh, lack of a better term we'll say the moisture out of the tires. That, 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 that rubber elasticity in the tire kind of it draws that out it seems. Uh, the other thing is wheel covers. Cover the wheels up, try to protect them from the weather, the elements, and uh, the, uh, the UV rays and whatnot from the sun uh, where the sun gets around, especially on this side of the trailer in the afternoon. This is uh, the sunny side after about 11 o'clock. Uh, by covering the tires up and uh, keeping them covered keeps the sun and those elements away from the tire and it helps extend the life uh, pretty drastically. Uh, these are brand new tires. I had them put on uh, about this time last year, I guess. They're Maxxis, what are these, Maxxis tires, Maxxis 2s or something like that. Um, they're the, I think it's a 15 inch rim on this trailer, so you're, you're, we, I was limited to the type of tire that I could put on it. And all the research that I could do, Maxxis was one of the better ones that I could go with. There's a lot of opinion on some of the other tires. Um, I decided to go with these and so far I've been pretty well satisfied. But uh, we're going to go through the process of putting one of these uh, wheel covers on, give you an idea of, uh, of what that takes, at least for this style of wheel cover. And um, basically it's just a shell, an outside shell that fits over the tire. It's flat across the bottom and it's uh, three quarters of it is open on the back side. There's a lip that comes over the back of the tire and just around the edges. And then there's a, a bungee cord string with a ball on the end of it. It grabs the eyelet on the one side, you stretch that string through the eyelet on the other side, back around, and there's a little loop on the end that grabs a hold of that ball. I'll bring you in a little bit closer and I'll show you as we go through putting this uh, second one on. Okay, well for starters, what, uh, what I do is I've got one of these uh, fitness mats with the little scalloped edges there on the, on the side that lock together from one panel to the next. And uh, they, they turn out, they, they work out pretty good for uh, just a foam pad. Works out to kind of save your knees, you know, because you're not always on a grassy surface when you go to put these on or take them off. You know, if you happen to go, if I go on a trip or something and, and we're in one place for a while, I might, uh, might decide to put these on if we're going to be there for several days. And uh, like I said, you, you might be on gravel or something like that that's a little harder on your knees. So this, this kind of helps save that... Uh, save you from a little bit of pain later on. But basically, what you've got on the inside is uh, it's got a felt lining on the inside or kind of a fuzzy inside to protect the rims. In my case, the rims are old, so it's not really a big deal. But uh, on the end, you've got a plastic ball and uh, it's crimped on the end there so it won't come off. And once this fits over the tire, you pull the string tight or the bungee cord tight stretch it around the back side of the tire the other end of this has a loop in it you feed that loop through the grommet as it goes through the grommet you stretch it back around to where you started and this loop simply fits over the uh, plastic ball here and that's what holds these on tight uh, in storms and wind and whatnot and these were on last uh, last year through uh, Hurricane Irma and uh, it was a category two-ish when it came through here. And uh, they held on just fine, I had no problems. None of them blew away or anything like that. So um, I don't know what brand these are. These are ADCO, A-D-C-O. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them. This isn't a paid endorsement or anything like that. This is just the product that, uh, that I went with. I didn't want something too cheesy to put on here. But, uh, and, and, and these seem like they're they're pretty decent. They're a thick vinyl plastic on the outside, stitching around the edges, and uh, they're they're pretty decent, I think. So, 
anyway, we'll go ahead and put this on and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so to put this on, all I do, I don't know if there's a particular way, but I just kind of get that lip on the back, work it over the, the tire, kind of center it to where you want it. Find my loop here, or my, uh, the end of my bungee. And uh, there may be easier ways to do this, but um, I kind of get the string stretched out and I throw it to the other side. Go over here and see if I can find it. And sometimes you can't. This is one of, the time, one of those times. So we'll go back and try it again. There we go. So you fling that to the other side, find the grommet, just feed that through, pull that down tight, pull all the slack out, and then I just reverse the process and throw it back to the other side. And the goal is, is to try to throw it the edge of where the tire is sitting, tire between the tire and the ground or the board or whatever you're sitting on. And you can grab that and pull it tight and just loop it around that ball. Just do the final adjustments and there you go. All done. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and put the rest of these on. This last one on this side, and then we got the other three on the other side. All right, well, that's, uh, that's basically all there is to putting on the wheel covers and protecting your RV tires. The, uh, the boards, that's something you do when you actually back the trailer into wherever you're going to keep it. You need to put those down first, obviously, so you can back over top of them and, uh, or pull up on top of them, whatever's easier. Um, usually what I do when I back into this spot is I back past where it's sitting now, uh, all three axles, and then I'll lay my boards out and pull up on them. The, uh, the two boards on the very bottom, they, you know, with the trailer sitting here for any length of time, they generally... Um, kind of sink into the ground and they're a little hard to get out of the ground when uh, when I pull away I end up usually leaving those here and then I take the stack of boards on top that's on the uh, the other side I'll, I'll throw those in the back of the truck and take those with me that way if we have to level the trailer wherever we go um, you know we'll be able to, to do that to some degree if it's too off then if whatever site that we're in is going to be uh, too unlevel then that's you know unfortunately we're not going to be able to do much with that you only go so far but in any case, I appreciate you watching. Hope this helps in protecting your RV tires. If you, uh, if you like what we're doing here, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.